Rams training camp in Irvine, California. This is Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory with the Los Angeles Times. As expected, not quite the turnout that the Rams had on opening day of training camp, but plenty of fans still behind us seeking autographs from who else? Jared Goff. <laughs> Let's start with some news from training camp today. Tavon Austin, the receiver, he was carted off in the middle of practice. Of course, Jeff Fisher updated us afterwards, said nothing to worry about. According to Fisher, just some cramping. He got dehydrated. Apparently, Tavon Austin didn't eat lunch today. So Not a good maybe, move. Maybe there's something to be learned here moving forward, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too uh, serious. Uh, Kenny Britt, the other receiver, according to Fisher, was excused from practice. So hopefully for the Rams, both of those guys are back tomorrow. Gary and I didn't eat lunch yesterday. That's right. We sure <laughs> learned our lesson very quickly. Alec Ogletree, who moved in the offseason to middle linebacker. Of course, it's a big role for him to take over. Over, and another big role for him, he's a new dad. He has a seven-day-old baby at home. Right. Uh, young Austin uh, apparently is doing well. And with all that's going on in, with Ogletree professionally in terms of moving from that weak side, stepping into the middle, replacing James Laurinaitis, uh, that's something in his life I think that maybe takes some of the pressure off and something he can really enjoy. And at this point, the Rams are very happy, of course, with Ogletree's transition. But like everything out here, we won't know anything until they really put the pads on and play in the game. Well, a day of training camp won't go by without us mentioning of the quarterbacks, of course. Case Keenum remains the starter. Jared Goff, he almost made it through an entire <laughs> practice without an interception. And then he decided to throw the ball with some other rookies. Gary? Yeah, at the end of every practice, there's a rookie session just for those rookies, extra plays and whatnot. And he did have a pass intercepted. But he remains the fan, fan favorite here. Whenever he walks towards the crowd, the roar goes up they want autographs I think he's 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 kind of the front runner from the fan standpoint you think <laughs> tomorrow the routine changes just a little bit it's gonna be special teams practice they'll throw on the shoulder pads and really this is gonna be a chance for those guys trying to make the roster to really make an impact this is the first chance for those un, you know undrafted free agents from some of those other players that are fighting for a spot on the squad because remember they're gonna cut from 90 to 75 to 53 this is the first time they have to make that first impression. Mm -hmm. And uh, jobs have been won, or at least started to be won on this day, and I'm guessing that Fisher and his staff are looking to see who's gonna stand out. That'll do it from day two. We're moving right along with the Rams in Irvine. Be sure to keep it on the Times for all the latest from camp with Gary Klein and Lindsay Theory.